magician. Hello, Yuki Tube, Dark Magician 84 here. And I am profiling my vampire deck. Um, now updated with the support from Battle of Chaos. Took long enough. Um, <coughs> and yeah, as you can see, I still have Vampire Lord in there. I know it's typically not played, but... Um, but it's my favourite zombie. And uh, it, the original vampire... Uh, anyway, let's show the monsters uh, to start things off. Yeah, as I basically mentioned, two copies of Vampire Lord. Um, technically the boss monster of the main deck, even though there's quite a few boss monsters. So we'll say it's the main boss monster. Then Vampire Voivode. Um, pretty sure we've... Uh, seen it before in the deck. Um, came out in Ghosts in the Past 1 last year. Um, since I uh, stupidly got rid of the last profile, I'll just explain what it did. I'm pretty sure I had it in here last time, I don't remember. So if this card is normal summoned, I can target up to two monsters in my opponent's graveyard, special summon those monsters to my field in defense mode, but their effects are negated, and when a monster effect is activated while a monster with uh, its same name is in the graveyard, quick effect, I can negate the activation. If a monster is special summoned from the opponent's graveyard, I contribute two monsters to special summon this card from my graveyard. And I can only use each effect of it once per turn. That's pretty cool. Um, then two copies of Vampire Scarlet Scourge. Um, who definitely looks the most stylish of the vampires, I'll say that. And two copies of Shadow Vampire. One Vampire Duke. And two copies of... I think one of the best hand traps ever, not just for zombies, Vampire Fraulein, the bane of young Cal's existence. <laughs> um, and then two copies of Vampire Sorcerer, and two copies of Vampire Retainer, uh, two copies of Vampire Familiar, and then three copies of Mizuki which rather annoyingly are all in odd rarities. Like, I hate that so much. Um, oh, and if you're wondering why this one is coloured in, um, that's down to Billingham. Um, he used to have this card and he sorted it out to me. Um, now I'm going to want to get hold of a third secret rare just so I have a matching set. I mean, I don't normally care about rarity, but it... Sometimes it's just annoying having uh, multiple copies of a card in odd rarities. Like, um, even though it's the same card and does the same thing. Anyway, yeah, Mizuki, pretty much a zombie staple. As is this card, three copies of Unizombie to round up the monsters. Just for standard zombie graveyard setup. Um, but it does lock me into only attacking with zombies if I use either effect. Um, that's it for monsters. On with the spells. So for the spells, I've got two copies of Vampire's Desire. Um, Foolish Burial for vampires, basically. Three copies of Domain for extra normal summons and gaining life points. Allure of Darkness, because it's an all-dark deck. Dragon's Mirror, um, to bring out a certain fusion. Foolish Burial, staple for zombies. Burial from a different dimension, to recycle any zombies that got banished. And then, my usual spell lineup. Monster Reborn, Regeki, and Twin Twisters. The only one of these staples, or I guess semi-staples, um, that isn't parallel secret. That's it for spells, on with traps, and my trap lineup consists of two copies of Vampire Awakening, three copies of Vampire Domination, because uh, I don't need generic uh, Monster Negate cards, um, although it does stop anything, and Storming Mirror Force, because why not? 
And uh, that's it for the main deck, on with the extra deck. Uh, starting with the only fusion I play, which is Dragonero, the Never Soul Dragon. No, Dragon Necro. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Synchros, because um, I have Uni Zombie, consist of Beals and Black Rose Dragon. I love how both of them are gold. And um, now for the Xyz, starting with the new, well, not so new now, Xyz monster, the Zombie Vampire. Um, so I'll go over the effects if you don't know what it does, but then again, it's been out since the beginning of the year, so you should know what it does, but uh, in case anyone doesn't know, I'll read off the effect. So it needs two plus level eight monsters, and if you use a monster with a level that is owned by your opponent for the XC summon of this card, treat it as level eight. Neither player can target this card with card effects of special summoned monsters, except those special summoned monsters from the graveyard. Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, you can detach one material from this card, and each player sends the top four cards from their deck to the graveyard. Then if any monsters were sent to either graveyard by this effect, you can special summon one of those monsters to your field, and you can only use this effect once per turn. Um, so yeah, it has been played in Blue Eyes decks, well, uh, Express Gaming's one, but uh, I like to stick with... Um, I like to play it in the deck that it was made for. Um, I mean, I would play it in my Blue Eyes deck, but I don't really need it. Um, I like the extra deck the way it is. Um, then Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger, two copies of Dampier Vampire Sheridan, um, and Adrius, Keeper of Armageddon, and the last Xyz I play is two copies of Crimson Knight Vampire Baran. Yep, I'm still playing this because I do still have level 5 monsters in here. And then for my links, I have two copies of Vampire Fascinator, the new, or, well, not so new now, uh, Link Monster. Um, the materials are two plus monsters, including a zombie. Um, if this card is Link Summoned, you can target a monster in the opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your field in defense mode. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except zombies. And I contribute a vampire monster, then target one monster the opponent controls, and take control of it until the end phase. And you can only use each effect of Fascinator once per turn. And then the last monster is two copies of Vampire Sucker. Um, I mean, yep, these are in odd rarities as well, but I'm not too bothered about them. Um, I can live with it. It's more that I can live with the odd rarities of Mizuki. And that's it for my Vampire deck. Um, I know it's probably not uh, the best build. I'm sure there's better vampire decks than this one, but uh, I still like the way this one plays anyway. Um, I mean, I just play it this way for the fun of it, and that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, leave a like and a comment to share and subscribe if you haven't subbed already. And coming up next is my Earthbound Immortal deck profile. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See you in a moment. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.